Hello and welcome to another short tutorial on smooth crochet selvages. Uh, in this one I'm going to demonstrate two ways of creating a smooth selvage using what I would call mock stitches. So we are only working in double crochet here, US terminology as in all my uh, tutorials and patterns. And I'm going to demonstrate these two options in the order that I learned them. Uh, th they both start with a single crochet without any previous chain. So I have finished my row, I have turned my work and have done nothing else. And now I'm going to work a single crochet into this first stitch in the row. So, as you can see, this is really a normal single crochet sitting a bit uh, on its side since it's pulled down, uh, uh, having no uh, chain at the beginning of the row. But it's not high enough. Uh, we need this to be high as just as high as the double crochet, or almost as high as the double crochet coming after it. So to compensate for this lack in height, we are go just going to chain one. And then we are going to uh, continue the row. So here I am at the end of my row and I have two stitches left to work now. This one, which is uh, a normal double crochet, and this little wonky thing here is actually my single crochet plus chain one from the beginning of the previous row. So I'm going to work a double crochet, and then I'm going to insert my hook through this chain, I'm seeing the back of the stitch, I'm going through the back of the stitch putting my hook under through two strands in order to make something solid and good. So this is the first mock stitch method I encountered and now I'm going to show you uh, the next one. So I turn over my work I insert my hook and directly in the first stitch and make a single crochet. And now again I have this single crochet sitting a bit sideways. So this is the top of the stitch and this here is the left leg of the stitch. And this is where I'm going to work yet another single crochet. So I insert my hook under this leg, I pull up a loop, sorry, I pull up a loop and I complete my single crochet. So I have two single crochets stacked on top of each other and here the tops of the stitches are here. And I work yet another, uh, I work my first real double crochet. So you can see how the second single crochet, the top, kind of folds over to shape a top of this mock stitch that looks very much like the top of any other stitch. And now I'm going to finish this row and work back so we can see how we work into this on the following row. So here we are at the end of the following row, so we can see what it looks like when we, we come back and we're going to work into our stacked single crochets. So this is the last, next to last stitch, it's a normal DC, so we're going to work into it here. And as you can see, these stacked single crochets look very much like just another stitch, so they're easy to spot and uh, there is less risk of uh, not finding them and losing track of this last stitch. 
So I only do one double crochet in this one and one double crochet, taking both strands, of course, in this last one. So I think you can use any of these two techniques depending on which one you find it easier uh, to do. But I wanted to make a comparison. So I made this swatch and actually it's very slight but you can see it perhaps better on, on this side. There is a small difference. It's, it's very smooth but here I have used one single crochet plus chain one in these first rows and they are slightly wavier than the stacked single crochets that I've used at the end of my swatch. So this is also a, a fact to, to, to account, take into account and you can try for yourself. Perhaps your result will be a little bit different than mine because we all crochet differently. So this uh, video is a pendant to my January 2020 newsletter. I'm currently doing a series in my newsletter on crochet fundamentals. Uh, you can find the link to subscribe to my newsletter and to receive, monthly, to receive monthly tutorials directly in your inbox below the video. And if you enjoyed it, of course, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I put up a video again. Thank you. Bye bye.